So along with being able to add users, we also need to be able to remove users. If a user leaves our organization, we don't want their account just sitting out there forever because that's going to create issues for us a little bit later on. When we have unused accounts, they become a security vulnerability. Now, before we dive into how to remove a user, there's a couple of things that I want to show you. The first is one of the places where user information is stored so that we can see what users we actually have on our system. Now, Linux at its core is a command line operating system and it uses a lot of text files. Even when you're dealing with a GUI Linux environment, most of the configuration is still stored in text files. And one of those text files actually holds our list of users. It's the etc password file. Now we're going to take a little closer look at this here in a few minutes in another video, but I just want to real quickly show you, you can issue the command cat, we'll talk about this more in a few minutes, but for the moment let me just show you what this looks like, cat forward slash etc forward slash password, now etc is the directory, forward slash password is the file name. And when we cat this file, this will show us the list of all of our users. Now, like I said, we're going to dive into this a little bit more in another video. But I just wanted to show you real quick here. This gives us a list of every single user we have on our system. Now, if and you'll see it kind of scrolled off the top. So if we've got more users than will actually fit, we can do the same thing and pipe that. So that's a little pipe to more and this will break it up one page at a time and actually it fit perfectly on one page so there's a couple of other things we can use uh, to help simplify looking at this too but we'll look at that a little bit later what I wanted to show you here is this is going to list all of our users including the two that we just made J Smith and M Maxwell now let's say we want to take out the J Smith user well one of the things we've got to think about before we remove the users what do we want to have happen with the users files now you'll notice as you look over you're gonna see the forward slash home forward slash J Smith that identifies their home directory and if we do an LS which does our display file listing ls forward slash home you're going to see that we have a j smith and you'll see it here in dark blue that identifies it as a folder so let's do an ls dash l forward slash home which will display it a little bit differently and here we'll see the j smith the uh, d right here indicates that it's a directory now that's their home fo uh, folder now the question we've got to answer is if we remove the user what do we want to have happen to all the files in their home folder we can remove them or we can copy them out save them somewhere else so that we still have access to them if we ever need them now once you've decided that the command to add a user was user add the command to delete a user or remove a user is user del. And I'm going to do a dash H real quick so you can see the help content. And here are a couple of things we want to look at. We've got dash R, which will remove the home directory and the mail spool. Dash F will force the removal files even if they're not owned by the user. We'll deal with that a little bit later on. So if I want to go ahead and remove those, my command is user del. And remember, it's the command, then the options, so dash R. Remember, capital R, lowercase r, two very different things. You'll see here capital R change is a change root directory. So we want to do user del, uh, uh, lowercase r, and then the name of the user, J Smith. Now, if we don't use a dash R, the files will stay there, but this should. Hey, I have to sudo that first. Sorry. User del dash R J Smith. Okay. And we actually didn't, it couldn't remove the uh, mail spooler because we didn't have one, so that's fine. But it should have deleted the user. Let's find out. Remember, we can cat etc password and we can look to see if a J Smith is there and she's not she was right here and now she's gone let's do an LS dash L for our home directory and we're gonna see that the J Smith folder has been removed as well okay user ad creates users user Dell deletes users